oh yeah, we have this embarrassing um, altercation between, uh, what you call it, Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather for some odd, bizarre reason. I don't know. Don't ask me why. Um, they're meant to be, uh, Lo what, Logan Paul's going to be fighting um, Floyd Mayweather and I guess Jake Paul being Logan Paul's brother turned up to offer some brotherly support and to kind of stoke the fires of the fight and create a basically a bit of a Hollywood blockbuster moment which led to a very strange altercation between the two guys which we were unable to it's really interesting that they had this big scrap or scrap quote-unquote but we didn't get any real clear footage of Floyd actually punching him in the face we saw the black eye so something maybe did happen but we didn't actually get to see any of the footage you know usually you get better you get a better fight footage from clips that you'll see on flipping world star hip hop and look at the amount of cameras that are here in this shot alone that i've got on screen we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve already in shot only in shot 12 cameras and look at that and the flipping boom mic picking up all the necessary audio and we still didn't get clear footage of the actual incident itself but anyway they're going to be fighting on june 6th floyd, floyd versus logan paul and Jake Paul got into Floyd with his face. They had some exchange, and this is how it went down. Took his hat and run off. Still no clear footage to the bodies. Got involved too. <laughs> 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 Let him go. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you know, you get a gist of it, right? You get a gist. Um, <laughs> and then this obviously led to this picture. Jake Paul obviously enjoying every single minute of it. His right or left eye looks like it's a bit swollen. It looks like he might have a black eye there. His shirt's obviously ripped and disheveled. I'm not sure if he still has the hat. And then he went ahead and got a tattoo of the got the hat catchphrase that he's now, I guess, copyrighted and probably got merch selling on his site of it. And you know, tattoo artist um, inking the got the hat thing on his leg. <laughs> Got your hat, him eating a sandwich. You know, just being the guy that he's always kind of been, you know, throughout his career. So I guess, I guess this is going to drum up some interest for the fight. It has for me because I wasn't paying attention. Um, you know, generally, I think, you know, Logan Paul is probably going to get beat pretty bad. I just don't see any possibility how somebody that just learned to box what in the last five years or so is going to beat somebody that's been doing it all their life we've basically seen that experiment already when floyd fought conor, Ma conor mcgregor i was one of the people that believed conor mcgregor had a chance i believed all the ideas about his stance is going to be weird he's going to come in different angles and all this stuff i believe all that nonsense when really the fact of the matter is that Floyd Mayweather was like well at that time he was 49 and oh um he was he's seen just about every single style there is 
out there. Even if you think he's had a lot of gimme fights, he's seen everything. He had an amateur career, I assume. He had a pro career. Um, he spent countless of times in the gym. He's not one of these boxers that just on the off season gets really fat. He runs a lot. He still does push ups and sit ups all the time. He's a bit of a freak in that way. He doesn't really drink. So he's in prime condition, right? To really make um, the best of his athletics abilities and his God given gifts and do them for as long as possible. We saw what he did to that Japanese kid, that Muay Thai champion, right? Spanked him so hard. The guy's like crying in the ring. Obviously, he TKO'd um, Conor McGregor. Um, who's one of the better strikers in the UFC. So for people to think Logan Paul has a chance is just nonsense. But again, it's a spectacle. I wasn't going to pay attention to it, but now this nonsense it has, has actually worked. So as much as Jake Paul is kind of a, not the most um, likable figure in the world, this nonsense that he does does have some um, benefit to it because it makes someone like myself that wasn't paying this any attention to be like, you know what, let me check this out. Why not? Let me check this out. I've got nothing else better to do on June the 5th. So um, is it June the 5th? It is as they said. I think it's June the 5th pretty much sure it said June the 5th let me double check I think it was June 5th the Mac Life phone that let me see I think it was a screen on the side it said June 5th right is it June 5th or June 6th go to the back June 6th so June 6th pay-per-view it's gonna be on Triller I'm assuming right is it Triller or no it's Showtime actually yeah Showtime because I remember Brenda Schultz said that he might be commentating which is funny considering he spoke about um, alleged incident that involved Floyd Mayweather in the passing of his ex-wife or something, which was incredible to hear someone was saying that out loud in that way. But hey, what can you do? So yeah, let me know if you're watching the fight. I'm not really that bothered to be honest, but you know, something to do, something.